Hello and welcome to Dr. Nishan's diary. This one's called The Real Village Experience. Well, when I was working in Delhi, which is a gigantic city, there were people who, uh, they were almost always relatives, but people who don't have relatives, like outside of India, they're called John Doe. Uh, here they're called unknown. That's like the general thing. I work in many, like, multiple hospitals now and they always call them unknown. That's what's written on the file. But in when I started working here in Chandigarh, I found that a lot of unknown people become known. And how this happens is that there is some uh, idea uh, that the police has about from where the patient uh, has come from, the village. And they contact that village sarpanch and suddenly they get people from villages here who take care of this uh, person. So, for example, there's an unknown patient, like a patient who came unknown in my ward, whose name we now know. We also know that he has no, he has direct relatives who won't come and, you know, give a damn, including his own brother. But instead, there are these two girls, like there's one girl who's 16 and there's another lady who's probably about 35 uh, and they're taking care of him and taking care of him is like, it's not easy. They have to change his clothes, they have to clean his shit, they have to take care of his tracheostomy, they have to feed him through his nasal, uh, nasogastric tube. And it's like, it's some of the toughest things that even relatives aren't able to do. And these people are doing it quite diligently. They're, they're there all the time. Can you imagine that? Like, like, I don't know what he means to them. But they just say, well, he's from our village, you know, so we're doing it. Now, I, as a person who's lived in the city a long, long time, almost his entire life, actually his entire life, it, this kind of concept is just alien to me. I mean, in Delhi, we, we don't even talk to our neighbors. Sometimes, like, all the shit that comes out in the paper about neighbors killing other neighbors and stuff... You know, we always think that there's some sort of pervert around the corner, so let's not meet people who we don't know. But this is an entirely different sensibility. These people are here to take care of a person because he's from their own village, and he's not even family, and it's not easy to take care of him. Well, that's called, that's really something, and I'm, I'm feeling that, you know, it's it's the kind of care that's slowly disappearing from the world. This sort of sense of community and of uh, calling people their own and I think we're sort of going to miss it because well it's it's kind of nice just to think about it anyways the true village experience